What's going on everybody? I am very very excited to bring you today Ikimu the Mask Maker Now, after I finished Bionicle 2015 sets uh, I wasn't really a big fan of the 2016 sets that later came I thought, well yes, for the OG old school fans it was perfect for them But for me, a person who's gotten used to CCBS and especially used to, you know, modern style LEGO action figures wasn't, didn't really fit my taste. However, I couldn't help but notice Ikimu has an upgraded second version. And I was like, and I didn't actually, I actually didn't notice for a long, long time. So I went on eBay, found a local seller from where I am in Canada, and I said, give me. Obviously, I didn't steal it. I had to pay a hundred bucks for this guy. So, here we are. Ikimu, the mask maker. Or as I will call it, the upgraded version of Ikimu. As you can see, I've got the 2015 original Ikimu from the mask maker versus skull grinder set. And I've also brought in the mask of creation, also from that set. Because, you know... Ikimu has really really got an upgrade. He's got a, even a brand new version of the Mask of Creation And I want there are some things I want to see on This set versus the old Ikimu. So old Ikimu We will use you eventually and uh, if you have not checked out the Mask Maker versus Skull Grinder set You should go check that out first because it has the original I Ikimu and you can see the original Ikimu doesn't even have doesn't even, mostly doesn't even wear his um, mask of creation. He mostly wears his protector mask. But in this one, Ikimu is fully wearing the mask of creation, and he's ready to end. He's fully ready to to, to battle. You know. So let's take a look at the set, which is today's main focus of the video. It's at a normal price. I think it'd be a forty dollar set, maybe even cheaper. I might be wrong. But uh, you can see, it's 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 his own set. There's no villain he's fighting. He's supposed to be fighting Umarak the Destroyer, but in this case, he is. Uh, the Umarak comes in his own set, and I do have Umarak. Ikimu wasn't the only 2016 set I picked up. I also have Umarak, Z Hunter, not the Destroyer. I absolutely hate Umarak the Destroyer. He just looks disgusting. This Umarak, on the other hand, looks pretty, pretty awesome. And I will... I'm gonna build this tomorrow, off the day I'm shooting the video. So, you will probably see it already. And but for now, here is Ikimu in the representative Bionicle box. And then here's the back, showing off some of his uh, features, just a comic like that. And then... Uh, set 71312 with 94 pieces. So, I am very, very excited to check out Ikimu and see what he has inside. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to, you know, look at this. And it's not in every... Oh, I just realized something. This has the, the LEGO Star Wars Goodwill Figures logo. Interesting. Okay. Knife. Let's cut this open. Now, this made the job easier for me because the tape here looks like it wants to come off. So, I'm just gonna end its misery. And it actually makes my life easier because <laughs> I, I, I don't have to slip this knife through a tiny gap to get this cut open. So I just simply need to... Why isn't this one cutting? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna do it here. Gonna do it off camera, sorry guys. Don't want to cut myself. There we go. All right. Hey, yeah, yeah. That tape wasn't. It wasn't just ball. It was. It was just wasn't cutting, and it was like a tape of steel. All right. So let's open up this box. What do we have inside? Come on. Uh. There we go. All right. Parts one. 
And then the instructions. There we go. Wondering why it wasn't coming out. Is that everything? I am pretty sure that's it. Wow, it's actually not a lot in here. Okay. Give me a second, guys. This box is taking quite the time to close. Okay. So, again, we have very similar stuff to original Kimu. He still kept this uh, bold, transparent blue color scheme. Most of the transparent blue is actually in here. I'm pretty sure of that. Yes. Let me just check. Yes. Because it feels, this is kind of feels incomplete, not gonna lie. Okay. I want to take a look at the instructions. And no, I won't be doing the creatures and then the Toa and the creature. Nah, I'm not doing those. See? These are the bad guys. These are the creatures that you're supposed to combine with Umarak the Destroyer to make this even bigger Umarak. And yeah. Look at this Umarak compared to the other Umarak. I'm just honestly not a fan of it. Another cover art. That looks pretty neat. Uh, is it bad? Just a comic. Alright. Before I drag this video on too long, let's take a look at the parts. Actually, wait. It's a Bionicle set. That means I'm just going to go over some very basic parts. Because we've seen some stuff before and there's just some bits and pieces I want to point out before we get to building. Because in the uh, past, the other Bionicle sets, I didn't even bother going over parts. I just went straight to building. But the thing with Ikimu is he's actually got some interesting stuff I really want to look over. So, let's do it. So, I won't be going over stuff in here then. Because there's all the transparent bone pieces, transparent armor pieces. I'm just going to put this on one side. I still need to get this open, of course. Because, uh, oh my god. <laughs> eh. Get back here, you. I should have I should used a container. Okay. Just one thing I want to pull out of the bag is the shield. Oh, yeah. Transparent blue shield. Razor saw shield. You love to see it. I'm not going to go too deep. All right. You know what? I'm using a box. I mean, a container for this. This is unsafe. There you go. I might... I should have just, you know what, it's whatever, it's fine. I should have just, I should have just did this from the start. But, I don't know. I'll do that later. So, I just want to dig this torso up because these are completely new torsos. It's not something you normally see. That's new. And then, of course, aha, the new mask of creation. The transparent mask of creation. Look at that. The camera has focused. And you can see it's the same old as the old one. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna remove the old one off the stand because I'm gonna use it later. So I just need to pull that out. Wonderful. Okay, here's the old one, the original one. Here's the transparent blue one. Look at that. Now that is the same old, but the color is so different. But I already have a problem then. I'll get to it later and I'll tell you why. And then one more thing. Here's Umarak's bat mask. That Ikimu has. Why does he have Umarak's mask? Umarak the hunter. Why? What's up with that? Come on camera, focus. Focus camera. Oh, it's not focusing. That's too bad. And then just finally, last two things I want to show you. Number one. What is this behemoth? That looks awesome. It's like a crystal armor piece. And then finally his body piece. That looks awesome. This actually looks sick. Okay. That's awesome. All right. I think now it is the green light to assemble Ikimu all together. And hopefully this won't eat up all my memory because she, I thought he was going to be a pretty complicated figure. But by the looks of it, it doesn't look like that's the case but i might be wrong and i'm going to regret saying a statement anyways let's get started
So, that went well, woof, all things considered. It's quite an interesting build. And uh, after I finished putting them together, my first reaction was, whoa. <laughs> Cause, Ikimu, have you been have you been exercising a lot? Have you been getting a lot of good sleep? Have you been have you been eating very healthy? Drinking lots of milk? What have you been doing, my man? You became so big and so tall. We have the OG Kimu, which I'm going to pull up in a second, but I want to put on the mask creation on him. Here's the OG Kimu with the mask creation. I took I took off his protector mask. Side by side. So, um, yeah, Ikimu, did you, what did you do that made you grow so tall? Like, holy. So, we have two versions of Ikimu, and I'm just gonna call this his baby brother edition. And just, wow, what a massive difference. And not just in size, but build style and in terms of colors as well. And I just want to see what this Massacration, the all blue Massacration, how does it look on our OG Kimu? So let's take off the mask here and let's stick that on here. Just because, right? Just want to see. So. <laughs> That is very, very blue. Almost looks like he's a... Uh, his head is just... His, 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 it's just a ghost. There we go, that's what it looks like. You've never seen this style, but you never see... I bet, you, I bet you the other LEGO reviewers on YouTube have never done this before, putting the new mask onto the OG Kimu. Which means there's one more thing left to do. And that is to put the OG mask on the Kimu. Ah, now that... That looks more like it. I don't even know if this is in frame. There you go. That looks more like it. See? Now, the first problem I really I really want to address with this this figure is that the mask. Because all right, OG Ikimu with the mask of creation on him. Great. It it, it fits well. It it it's it looks it looks like the way it's supposed to be and no problem at all, right? But this Ikimu has his mask here is just it's so so blue the whole thing is transparent blue that looks like he's like a holy spirit he's like a ghost it's like a <laughs> almost like he's like a like a hologram Ikimu like from Star Wars like you pull up a hologram this one this is this is hologram Ikimu I think the mask is too gold too way too blue in my opinion, um, I would rather see like a gold, like a, a similar version of the OG Master Creation, but it's got it's like slowly transitioning into into blue. Like it's got that fade in. It's got the color combination. I'm gonna I have the perfect example for this one. His protector mask, Ikimu's protector mask, something like this, but with the Master Creation, where the main part is still all gold. But you can see it's like slowly transitioning as you move back to the mask, it goes to blue. Uh, they should have done something like this with this mask of creation. I mean, how cool would it look with the mask of creation when you have gold here and it's transi transitioning into blue? That will honestly look a much better mask. It will look a lot cooler. Also, it will be a much nicer piece to collect. Also, because this just honestly, yes, it's nice and all. It's a... It's a blue mask of creation, but it looks like a ghost when you put it on him. So that's, that's, I think that's the only problem I have with Ikimu after. It's so noticeable that I had to bring it up first. So, and plus I have both Ikimus here, so I might as well just show you right now. And so, now it's time for some comparison, you know? And thing is, well, Ikimu hasn't lost his major theme, which is, number one, his, uh, his weapons. His hammer, same thing. Except Ikimu's hammer, like the, uh, bleh, they're both Ikimu, but the OG Ikimu, you know how it's a much smaller hammer with the stud shooters? 
Well, they've completely thrown it out the window of this Ikimu. Instead, they've got this they've got this huge hammer, almost like Stormbreaker. It's like it's like Iki this hammer is, is Mjolnir, and then this hammer is Stormbreaker. And any Thor Thor vibes? Anyone? Anyone? I don't know. But yeah, this is a this is an upgraded, definitely upgraded hammer. Uh, it looks more deadly and it actually looks more like a weapon than an actual tool that he uses to make the mass. Especially with this, with the with the actual bit here it looks like it looks sharp and it definitely looks like it looks doesn't look anywhere near a hammer because you won't want to whack a mask and forge it using using a, such a bumpy edge hammer. But I like the idea of using a, sh a normal Hero Factory shoulder armor add-on piece here on the top to access the handle. But yeah, this he turn. I think he just turned his entire hammer from a tool into a super dangerous and deadly weapon. But not gonna lie, it's a very cool weapon, and it's the same thing. But I think this version obviously looks a lot cooler. Now the other thing is the shield. It is the exact same build, same design as well. So the only difference you're gonna see is the color of the shield and the placement of the shield. So original Ikimu here, his shield is just your everyday silver. But uh, this Ikimu, you've got your transparent blue shield. So it's actually not that 360, you can't really spin it as much as the original spin at the original shield anymore. That's a little unfortunate, but there's a reason why there's more resistance on this shield and you can't spin it, you know, as fast as the original one. And that's because the, in the original one, you hold he holds the shield on it's attached to his hand. This Ikimu, the shield is on his wrist actually. It's attached to his armor here. So, you can actually fold it in and out if you want. And that means um, that means he has a free hand here, which he can use to do other things. Also, it looks much cooler because the, they purposely inverted the bone uh, ball joint here, so you can pull up in cool different poses. It looks like he's like when he's blocking something, or if he's like trying to, you know, coming off the side of a mountain, and he's just using this to slow down his fall. Posability is great, and the most important thing is you can take this off a lot easier because it's just simply got the lightsaber pegs uh, clips on there. I just realized that was loose, but yeah. It's it's easy. I think this is much better, and I don't care that it takes away the you know the the three the the part where you can spin it so easily. It's fine. I'll take that loss, and because you give more diversity to the actual figure, and uh, it's easier to attach it just like this rather than having to stick it through an uh, stick it through an axle on the hand. So there's that, and. Um, so that's the weapons. Now the figure itself, obviously in terms of height, he's a lot bigger. And the feet, I think the feet are a little, still a little short, but that's okay. I like what they did here on the bottom. They really, really umphed up his legs. His feet is no longer the small beast feet. It is like straight up just gold feet now. And that looks great. And then, uh, yeah, and main body. Really like this build, especially with the shoulders here. To you know, I, I, is it to buff up his shoulders or his chest, or maybe it does both? But either way, it's very nice. I like how it, it is put together through here. It is done very well, and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. And it just looks awesome. And of course, he's got a lot of transparent blue. He's got more transparent blue than actual gold. That's why I said he looks like a ghost, especially with the mask. And uh, the arms, just very simple arms. It's not nothing too special here. Lots of lots of transparent bone pieces, I'll tell you that. Lots of them. It's awesome that we get all these transparent blue pieces. Of course, there's friction adders because he's one heavy figure. And from the back, it is semi-covered. It's got this, but... Uh, it's <clears throat> the action feature handle is not yellow. I think they just decided, yeah, kids are smart enough to know there's an action feature here, so they didn't expose the color scheme with a yellow axle piece here, unlike, you know, like the 2015, 2015 figures where they have, where they have the yellow axle on the back. So, features. What is the difference? Play features for Ikimu is actually very similar. So. This Ikimu, of course, if you remember clearly enough, you can move his 
arm of the gear system here, but it only moves his hammer arm. And you can get again because of the the, the resistance, you can uh, keep a pose up. So the question is, did they bring the same thing to this Ikimu? The answer is yes, they have. But it's no longer on gears. In fact, they just use a simple ball socket here for the resistance. So bring it up. Uh, it's not you can't even see it on camera. Holy, give me a second. There you go. Voila. And then you can just move it all the Oh my goodness, you can move it all the way back. But it's a little bit more resistant because it's on a ball joint, not a gear. But yeah, that's play feature number one. What? There's another one? Yup, this EQ has two play features. Where is the second one, you may ask? Well, if you're familiar with all the 2016 Bionicle figures, you know they introduced a new play feature, which is waist articulation, number one, which is at the back here. This is the butt knob. I mean, what else can you call it? This thing is literally attached to his butt. So, <laughs> it's the only logical thing to say. So, yeah, keep your maturity comments to yourself, please, people. I know, I know you guys are out there. Now, how this works is you turn this butt knob, and there's a gear attached to the bottom of the torso, which acts for its waist. So now you have waist articulation. So, that means you can turn this guy 360, and actually no, you can only turn this guy 180, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, you got some good waist articulation going on here, and that's good not just for play features, but, you know, if for posability and display, if you're going to display this guy, you can move it like this, and then you can, like, lift the arm down or up, so it looks like he's, like, coming from the side and, like, hitting, hitting an enemy. Yeah, cool waist articulation here, and, of course, you don't need to not to do that, you can simply just twist the legs like this, but that's, that's, it's a very, very efficient play feature. And to add up to my point earlier, now that I think about it, because he has a free hand thanks to the shield attached to his wrist, he can actually hold the hammer with both of his hands. Then, I'm not going to do it right now, but when he's holding both his hands and you do the waist articulation, it really looks like he's bashing his hammer into a wall or an enemy or something. And that's why. Very, very, like, when, when the designers came up with this figure, they've really, really thought this through, and I really appreciate it from doing that. There are so many scenarios you can create just with this one Ikimu figure. And apart from that, the overall overall figure looks awesome. And uh, what more can I say? This guy looks amazing. Especially with the chest print here. It's just the whole thing has got that consistent color scheme. Now, there is one more little thing before we close the review. Number one, I just want to see one thing. You know how in the Mask Maker vs. Skull Grinder set, you got this little stand you can build for the Mask of Creation? Well, something the YouTubers out there who's done the set has never tried again is to take this mask and put it on the stand. Hmm, well, I gotta do the thing first because, you know, there's a problem where the axles aren't tight enough to hold it up. But, you know what? I'll just leave it like this. Well, uh, now this mask really matches the color scheme of the stand, that's for sure. Okay, now you've seen it firsthand. Not any, no, no other YouTuber has done this, so subscribe. All right, so I, that's, that's the only thing I wanted to try. And then there is one more thing for this set. Of course, I can't forget about it, is the corrupted Umarak mask. So this is the same Umarak mold from Umarak the Hunter, not Umarak the Destroyer. Umarak the Destroyer actually wears a, 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 a simplified cutout edition of the Mask of Control. So, this is, I guess this is the mask he left behind after he put on the Mask of Control. And I really, I really like that, like, transitioning how it goes from good middle gray to or, uh, neon orange. Is that neon orange? I don't even know. But, yeah, it's a cool collectible mask and of course, um, I haven't done Umarak yet, but when I do him, I will take this mask and apply it on him and see what it looks like. But yeah, this is just another thing included with the set. And uh, it's a cool collectible, that's for sure. It doesn't really have a purpose, but... Uh, anyways, so that's it for Ikumu. I know, it was quite a mouthful, and there was quite a lot of stuff going on. I did a lot of comparing with the... <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
I did a lot of comparing with the 2015 edition of him and obviously uh, I want to say LEGO really did think this through. They've really taken this Ikimu and turned him into a much larger, bigger, stronger, better looking edition of him. And uh, I gotta thank LEGO for doing that. And I'm, <laughs> this set really got my attention so I'm so glad I bought it and did this review. It's a very, very cool set. This Ikimu looks great, but the only problem I have with it, of course, is the mask. It just, it's cool and all, but it looks way too orange that I really think this guy looks like a spirit other than an actual warrior. So, those are my thoughts for this one. So, you're going to see Umarak next, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it was quite a long one for this one, because I just got a lot to say for Ikimu. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more because we bring more LEGO content as soon as possible and, uh, you know, to look forward for Umarak the Hunter, which will come out tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy and we're looking forward to that. So, talk to you in the next one. Bye.